Pets mean so much to people these days. Oh, she's like a teddy bear. Man's best friend and now bedtime companion. We allow pets into our bedrooms really shows what animals mean to us these days. With more and more people now allowing animals to share their beds, there are concerns about how it's impacting families. It's something that divides people. Dr Bradley Smith and his team from Adelaide CQ University is researching pet co-sleeping. It's surprising that nobody's looked into this. So this is a psychological um, behaviour that, that we know nothing about. More than 60% of Aussies own at least one pet and half of us let them sleep beside us. A lot of people are either for co-sleeping or against it and it's kind of this this really big division and we want to explore that a bit more. I usually be, should be sleeping like under my arm or next to me on my shoulder. Claire Crabtree sleeps with her pup Issa every night. And all my friends are like oh wow your dog sleeps with you and I'm like yes. It's just the way it is and it's how I've grown up like with dogs sleeping in my bed. And while it's good for pets, according to Dr Smith, it's owners who may be suffering losing sleep. Dogs do cause some kind of sleep disruption during the night. It's estimated that dogs wake up on average 23 times a night. That's three wake-up cycles an hour. 42% of owners are woken up by their dog needing to go to the toilet. 20% of disturbed sleep is due to overcrowding in the bed. And 19% is due to our noisy canine companions. Dogs are snoring. They're, they're stealing the, 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 um, the doona. And they're also... Um, need to go to the bathroom quite a bit, so they're, they're waking up their owners. Despite popular belief, very few cats and dogs who sleep with their owners pass on diseases. It's something that we really don't see if you keep your dog clean and, uh, you know, and vet care. Um, it's fine. So while it might be OK to let your sleeping dog lie, it could be setting yourself up for trouble down the track. Sometimes people do it because the animals um, demand it. So it, it, you know, the, the animal wants to be on the bed, and it causes lots of troubles um, if you put it elsewhere. People that come here are pet friendly, dog friendly, they walk in and they just love, they love to be able to come here. And it's not just in the bedroom where animals are muscling in. A lot of cafes will have dog bowls outside, but this was more about actually bringing the dogs in and treating them. Natalie and Gary Goodall from Pet Lovers Cafe in Mayland say their pets are part of the family. They've opened a cafe where your pooch is priority. So it's all natural, all healthy, no sugars, no artificial colours and flavours. So she does a great job to make healthy treats. On the menu, gruffles instead of truffles, woofles for waffles and pup cakes. There's even Barker Lattes, a lactose-free hot cuppa. And you can see the dogs relax and you can see the owners relax because they're not being told no. According to the research, pets are perfectly happy outside. It's the owners who need to draw the line. It's just the attachment. They're highly attached to their animals and, you know, they want to keep them close. So to keep that bond uh, going. As for Claire, she couldn't care less what people think. In her home, Issa will always be top dog. Kind of is like a comfort thing as well because sleeping by yourself and having a dog there is just kind of nice as well. Mm.